Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully designed form for our purchase and sales in transaction module. So in this episode, we will create getter and setter in business logic layer for our transaction and transaction details. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. <laughs> So first of all, we'll need to start our project. So I'll go to my project folder that is in store in my desktop and let's open our solution file that is in store or solution in project. So this will open on Visual Studio IDE. So this was the form we designed in previous video. So we will create a business logic layer for this uh, module this transaction module and in our database we have two separate uh, tables for transaction that are transaction and transactional details let me show you so go to server explorer and in cyrus.any store we have tables and inside this we have transaction and transaction detail so we will need to create two separate business logic layer class in our BLL folder that are transactions and transaction detail so let's go to solution explorer and let's go to BLL folder and in BLL folder let uh, create our first uh, business logic layer for transaction module which will be transaction BLL so I'll right click on folder uh, add click on add and go to new item and here select class and give the name it will be T R A N S A C T I O N transactions B L L and click on add so this will be our business logic layer for transactions uh, which holds the summary of our transaction and let's create a getter and setter for this business logic layer for that we will go to server explorer and let's expand our tbl underscore transactions and let's check what columns do we have we have id type decost id grand total transaction date tax discount added by so our id will be integer so let's start with id so i'll use a shortcut which is prop and tab tab then again tab and it will be id and press enter enter not it id id okay now again prop tab tab it will be a string a string and it will be type enter enter and what do we have then decost id and grand total so decost id will be integer so prop tap tap integer d cost id and prop tap tap it will be decimal and tab and it will be grand total let's check out in server explorer so it's grand total so total t is capital so grand total enter enter and after that we have transaction date and tax so transaction date will be prop tap tap and transaction date is date time so it will be transaction date date enter transaction underscore date so it will be transaction underscore date and another one is tax discount and added by tax and discount will be decimal i guess so prop tap tap decimal tab tax and again prop tap tap decimal tab discount and enter in and the last one will be added by which will be of integer data type so prop tab tab and integer tab it will be add added underscore by so that's it uh, this is our business logic layer for transaction now we need to create another business logic layer for transaction detail so let's save it by pressing ctrl and s and let's go to solution explorer and on bll folder just right click on it and click on add and click on new item and from here select class and it will be 
TRA and SACTI transaction detail BLL and press enter or click on add and this will be our transaction detail BLL so here we will add getter and setter for transaction detail for that uh, let's look at our server explorer and table transaction detail so I'll just expand transaction detail table here we have ID, product ID, rate, quantity, total, decast ID, added date and added by so first one is ID which is of integer data type now let's start with ID which is of integer data type so I will type shortcut which is PROP and tap tap it is of integer and tab and it is ID and press enter and the next one is product ID so it will be of integer data type so PROP tap tap integer tab and PRO DUCT underscore ID and let's see which one is next so go to server explorer and so rate quantity and total so rate will be of decimal data type so PROP tap tap decimal it will be rate enter enter and then PROP tap tap it is also a decimal it will be QTY enter enter so let's see so it was QTY quantity then total and decast ID so PROP tap tap total is also of decimal data type and total total enter enter and PROP tap tap and this one will be integer which is decast ID so tab DEA underscore CUST underscore ID enter enter and let's see which one is next so another one is added date and added by so that's it so added date is of a uh, date time data type so PROP tab tab and date time it is added date date and press enter and enter and last one is PROP tap tap it will be integer data type and it's add date underscore by so this is it guys press enter so this is it we have successfully created a business logic layer for transaction detail and transaction BLL and transaction detail BLL and thanks so much for watching if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and click on little bell icon so you will get notified when I upload new videos so in the next video we will create a data access layer for transaction and transaction detail uh, where we will create method to insert transaction as well as transaction detail so till then see you soon bye bye